currently studying in class 12. I plan on doing my bachelor's of engineering in India and doing my master's in New Zealand. Do my secondary school and board marks have any importance for admission into a university in New Zealand for doing my master's? First and foremost, I appreciate the fact that you're starting four years earlier to start doing some research about New Zealand. You're only in class 12 still and you've quite clearly mentioned that you want to do a bachelor's in, in um, India and then come for your master's to New Zealand. Why don't you consider doing your bachelor's here in New Zealand as well? Because there's a video I made and which is sitting there on my YouTube channel which says the advantages of doing a bachelor's in New Zealand because not only will you do a three or four years bachelor's here in New Zealand, then you will also get a further three years post-study work visa. So you'll have about six or seven years in the country by the end of which you will practically become a Kiwi anyway. And I think um, you'll be so hugely uh, valued as a future worker for the industry here in New Zealand. Also bear in mind that when you're a student, you can work part-time while you're studying uh, and you can work full-time during vacation. So a lot of students are able to, you know, kind of take care of their living expenses. And so uh, make an arrangement for, uh, you know, the funds towards the fees. And I think you know, uh, the living expenses by and large, most students are able to take care of. But yes, absolutely. For if at all you can't do your bachelor's in New Zealand and you want to come, only uh, after your bachelor's and you want to come to do your master's here in New Zealand. So absolutely, your 12th and your uh, degree uh, uh, will be very, very important because without that, obviously, you'll not get out, uh, you know, admission into the master's. So